Hello everyone, I know it's been a hot minute, I've been away focusing on myself and my health, but as you can see I'm feeling good right now. So your new YouTube today is going to be all about the twists and the lateral lines. All I'll say for this video is you will need possibly a block depending on how your balance is feeling today. So we're going to get started in a child's pose, nice and easy. So bring feet together, send the knees wide, lengthen the arms out in front of you and just take a moment here just to arrive, to slow everything down and to just really arrive upon the mat. So begin by maybe just lengthening the breath. Maybe just focusing on the physical sensation of pressing down into the earth. With every exhale, just release any tensions of the day. Taking one more big inhale, big exhale. And then on your next breath in, just come high up on the fingertips, lift the forearms off the floor. Perfect. Now see if you can get a sensation of just sinking the armpits down. Maybe give yourself a little bit of a shake from side to side. You know I love movement, so just pushing one armpit down at a time. One more breath. And then all we're going to do is move the hands towards the right diagonal. Same kind of drill, sinking the chest down, feeling that left hand side lengthening all the way from the fingertips to the hip bones. Perfect, now bring it back through center. Take it to the opposite side, so sinking down, letting that right arm sink down, right armpit pushing down towards the floor. Try and keep the arms as straight as possible to just intensify that stretch. One more breath, and then bring it all the way back through center. Rolling cat and cow, so ground through the palms as you inhale, arc the spine, come forward, push the weight onto the palms. Exhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, roll the shoulders and slowly sink back. So we're going to do that a few more times. If you want to get invented, if you want to move instead of a linear way, so forwards and backs, if you want to add any barrel rolls into the hips, into the spine, feel free. Perfect. Taking just one more. Opening the chest as we breathe in and sinking back into the hips as you exhale. Now this time as you inhale, come up to all fours, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're going to sweep that right arm all the way up to the side, up to the sky or the ceiling, big breath. As you breathe out, we're going to thread the needle but not put it down. So soften through that left hand side, reach towards the left with that right palm and then push through that left palm, lengthen the right arm all the way up and over. Two more, nice and slow, bringing it all the way down. We're reaching, we're curving through the upper back and then we're pushing the ground away and we're sending the hands up high. Last time, slowly reach in. And then this time, as you inhale, send the arms up. We're going to hold it there. Notice if you're pushing the weight back, keep the weight into the left palm. Try and stack the shoulders as much as you can without leaning into the hips too much. Taking a big breath and then exhale, bring it all the way down. Opposite side, so left arm sweeps up towards the ski ceiling or the sky, wherever you are. And then threading the needle without putting the hand down. So keep that weight, that stability on the right palm as you reach. The breath in to unravel, open the chest towards the left hand side, reach high. The breath out to round, really feel that curve in the upper back as you reach towards the right. Last one. Big breath in, sending it all the way up. And then as you breathe out, reach in towards the right as far as you can. And then slowly bring it back through center. Left palm down. So we're going to keep adding on. Inhale, right arm goes up. Exhale, thread the needle just once like before. So round through the upper back. Now this time, as you push through that left palm, right hand goes high. Turn the hips towards the right and step that right foot all the way back. It's kind of like a baby wild thing, right? So we're going to take three big circles with that right arm. Every time you circle back, just trying to get that full range of motion, which enables you to just get into the chest, get into the pecs. Perfect. One more breath. 
and then slowly, next time you lean back, hold it there. Think of pushing the left hip flexor forward, load the weight into the left palm, begin to shift forward and float the right leg up. Squeeze the outside of the right glute. Gaze towards the front, we're gonna step right foot next to the left palm, sink the hips down low, bring both hands low, inhale into a low, low lunge, low, low lunge, I said it on purpose. Exhale, straighten the front leg, just as much as feels comfortable. So just get in, into the hips, into the hamstrings. Again, this is a quick practice, so add in movement, just to lubricate into the parts which we're gonna use. Perfect, take in just one more. And then next time you bend the knee, come up. Tuck the left toes, send the arms all the way up. So lengthening through here. As you exhale, bring the left arm forward, right arm back, as if we were painting a windmill. Gotta make that windmill take a full circle. So right arm comes forward, big breath in. Breathe out, open the twist towards the right. One more time, inhaling. Exhale to open the twist, hold it there. Notice if you're leaning forward, stack pelvis, heart, head in one line, reach out through that right palms. This is where it gets fun, you ready? Drop the right hand to the right hip, send the left arm back as you sink the left hip forward, big breath in. As you breathe out, left hand comes down next to the right foot, reach that right arm high, push through that left foot and lift the left knee off the ground. I know, a few more times, nice and slow. Slowly bringing it back, finding that reverse, finding that twist, bringing it back. The exhale, left hand down, lift that left knee, reach up. So you can feel maybe the outside of that right glute starting to work now. Last one, find the reverse, just as deep as what feels comfortable. And then slowly bring it forward. Left arm down, right arm high, left knee rises. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. So just a little bit of stability, looking forward. Next time you push forward on the right palm, bring the right hand down, lift that left arm up, open it up into your half moon. Take a deep breath. I know you wasn't expecting it, but it feels good, right? Right hand can be on the block as well. One more breath. Then slowly bring the left hand down once more. Send that right arm up as you drop the left knee, come into that twist once more. Big breath. As you breathe out, bring your hands towards your heart. Take a breath in. Exhale, left elbow outside of the right knee. Push the palms into the heart, gaze towards the ceiling. Perfect. So option one, you can stay here. Option two, keep the back toes tucked. Lift that left knee off the ground. If you want to open the wings because you feel ready or warm, feel free, but I'm going to stay. Breathe. Take one more breath. Look down towards the toes, and then slowly step the left foot next to the right. Keep the glutes low, keep that left knee squeezing in towards the right, find that seated twist. One more breath, and then exhale, release into that forward fold, good. Let everything soften, give yourself a little bit of a sway, getting into the back line of the body. Then begin to ground through the heels, slowly begin to rise. That ripple and roll coming all the way up. Arms go high, big breath. Exhale, hands towards your heart, soften. Let the breath come naturally. Feel the beat of the heart. Maybe the rush of the breath so slightly. Taking a big breath in. Big breath out. And then as you inhale, send the arms all the way up. Full length of the exhale, that folding coming all the way down. Inhale, look forward, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step back towards your plank, little bit of a holding plank, just get a little bit of a core switch on. And then slowly drop down onto your knees. Bring your knees underneath your hips or walk your hands back so they're underneath the shoulders. Opposite side. So right hand stays down, left arm sweeps towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle, reach towards the right. As you breathe in, push through that right palm. As the left arm goes high, step that left foot back, open up towards that baby wild thing. 
Three big circles with that top arm. So every time you circle back, you think of pushing the hips forward, sending the arms back. Good. On your last one, keep that left arm raising up. Gaze is down, push the weight forward into the right fingertips, float that left leg, squeeze the outside of the glute. Good, take one more breath, keep the gaze towards the floor, step the left foot next to the right hand, square the hips off, come low into the low, low lunge. <laughs> That's a new one. And then exhale, straighten the legs, slowly come back. Few more like that, so just getting into the hips, getting into the hamstrings, doesn't matter what it looks like, just warming into the body. Perfect. And then the next time you come forward, make sure the back toes are tucked. We're gonna rise all the way up, just into your regular low lunge. <laughs> Big breath in. Breathe out, right arm forward, left arm back. We're making those windmills with that left arm, so left arm sweeps forward on the inhale using the exhale to reach into that twist. One more time, big breath in, we rise it up. Breath out, reach to the twist, hold. Again, notice if your glutes are out, get that stack, head, heart, and pelvis. Time for some movement, left hand to the left hip, right arm goes high, sink the hips, big breath. As you breathe out, right hand down, lift the right knee and send that left arm up like we're charging our lunge. Use your exhales to draw you back. Find that shift of weight coming into your reverse. And use your exhales, right hand down, reaching, finding that stability in the left foot. One more time, slowly send it back, finding that reverse, take a deep breath. And then as you breathe out, right hand down, lift the knee, send the left arm up, send your gaze down. So again, begin to shift the weight, find that stability in that left foot. And when you're ready, left hand comes forward. My block's already there, so I'm going to use it to the floor. We float the right leg and open the hip all the way out towards the right, coming in, wild thing. Left knee can stay soft. Again, trying to stack the shoulders, squeeze the outside of the right glute. One more breath, and then slowly. We're coming back the way that we came. So right hand comes down. Right knee to the floor, arms up high, big breath. Find that twist once more, left arm back, right arm forward. And then bring in your hands to prayer into your chest. So push the palms together, keep the shoulder blades down. Using your next exhale, right elbow outside of the left knee, push the palms in towards the heart so you're making space on the bottom rib cage. Perfect. So again, option one, you can stay. Option two, you can pick up the back foot. Good. Keep the belly button in. Keep that weight centered over the left heel. Gaze is down. We're stepping right foot next to the left. Keep the glutes low. Pushing in. Yes. Good. Breathe. Hold for two. And one, slowly look forward, begin to bend the knees, making your way all the way down to the floor. So a nice short practice today. We're going to keep rolling all the way down, coming onto our backs and ending with a fabulous spinal twist. So bring the arms out wide, using your exhale to drop the knees to the right, right hand on top of the left knee, gaze towards the left palm. Softening here, letting the breath go. Pulling left shoulder blade down the back to try and encourage the shoulder towards the floor. Then bringing it back through center and then slowly drop your knees towards your left, gaze towards your right, reaching on out. Good. Right shoulder blade pulls down the back, right palm reaches out. Taking a big breath. And then slowly bring it back through center. Congratulations. If you want to take Shavasana, feel free. If you do enjoy these flows, remember my online school. Peace and love, guys.